Hello everybody, it's Nintendo Dragon Gamer, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. In the last episode, we went through Union Cave, evolved my Crocknaw, and healed the Pokemon Center. Now we are going to talk to Kurt. Here, we're going to go up against Team Rocket. Hmm, who are you? Steven, eh? You want me to make some balls? Sorry, but they'll have to wait. Do you know, do you know Team Rocket? Ah. Don't worry, I'll tell you any tell you any how. Team Rocket's an evil gang that uses Pokemon for their dirty work. They're supposed to have disbanded three years ago. Anyway, they're at the well cutting off Slowpoke's tails for sale. So I'm going to give them a lesson in pain. Hang on, Slowpoke! Old Kurt is on his way. So we'll go follow him into the well. And I think we should grab an, I think it's like an apricorn? Yep, it's a white apricorn. Depending on what apricorn you get will determine what Pokeball you will get from Kurt that, you'll, that he will make. So, let's head off to the Slowpoke well. Hey there, Steven. The guard up top took off when I shot at him. But then I took a t then I took a tumble down the well. I slammed down hard on my back, and that sucks, man. Sorry about that. So I can't move. Rats! If I were fit, my Pokemon would have punished them. Ah, uh, it can't be helped. Steven, show them how gutsy you are in the in my place. Darn, I was standing guard up top when some old coot yelled at me. He startled me so much that I fell down here. I think I'll vent my anger by taking it out on you. Well, thanks a lot, you jerk. But anyways, you're actually going to get screwed over because I'm going to beat you up with my croconaw. Thank you very much. Such rats of sucks. I'm nine levels above. Yeah, I'm gonna switch. Try and train my, uh, Bellsprout. Sleep Powder. And just start spamming by the whip. Wow! I almost fainted Rattata. That's pretty good. Uh, just use Wrap, not waste the Vine Whip. Ugh, this is not my day. I guess not, dude. Later. Stop taking tails? Yeah, just try to defeat all of us. You are just jinxing yourself, ma'am. You're just jinxing yourself. I am going to with your butt. You flat out jinxed it. You're gonna lose. Most of the Pokemon here are not suited for Bell Sprout, so it just—they're not suited for it. You're just not, especially since they're poison type. That's not much damage, I have to say. Scratch. And that takes out Ekans. I might possibly have a Croconaw level 19 by this point, but Croconaw, if I'm right, does not learn Bite until level 21, so we still got a few levels to go before that Pokemon learns that move. Quit taking Slowpoke Tails? If we obeyed you, Team Rocket's 
rep would be ruined. I think what he means by rep, I think I think what he means is by reputation. Alright. Water gun. Water gun to the face. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm just not gonna switch, it, it does, it, theoretically this wouldn't work out so well, it just wouldn't. It just wouldn't. I know it's you, Bat. Almost all 19. Just too strong. Yeah, I am too strong for you. What do you want? If you interrupt our work, don't ex don't expect any mercy. Oh, I'm so scared. You have a coffee level like 12 or 14. Like that's really gonna scare me. Yeah, level 14. You missed. Team Rocket was broken up three years ago. We'll be continuing our activities underground. Now you can have fun watching us stir up trouble. Way to go, Steven. Team Rocket has taken off. My back's better, too. Let's get out of here. So we're now out of... Now we were just sent right out of there, and now he's going to heal up, and we're going to head to the gym now. Since we have a little over 10 minutes to do so, which really is enough time in this in this case scenario. It is, it is enough time to do it, so. Uh, uh, it's fine, I'm not going to worry about it. I might be just switching out my bell sprout now, because it's just coming to a point where the Pokemon is just not, it just won't work in the bug type. Not until it hits the normal gym, which won't be for another episode or two. Okay, I will try. I will try. I will spam growth and use Vine Whip. Seriously? If you try to lower my speed sharply, that really won't work. Okay, yeah, it did. This is basically the only way I'm really going to get rid of the Spinarak. If I max out its special attack, I will most likely have the upper advantage here. I know it might seem a while, but I need to do this. It's the only way if I'm really going to get... Okay, there we go. I maxed it out.
Yeah, I maxed out special attack. Here we go. How much experience? Uh, not that much. Yeah, this is just not the best. This is not the best training for a bell sprout. I just want to take out these Pokemon instantly. Especially since Croc now is a water type, and water water can do well up against a bug type. Both Pokemon are t are cool and tough. I'll prove it to you. All right, we're fine. What's really nice is is that I have over 100 gigabytes of space left on my computer, so I could record a whole entire series of Crystal if I wanted to. It's just I had to keep importing um the videos onto my computer. That's all. Critical hit, that shouldn't have been a critical hit. It just shouldn't have been. Now, I know what would be a good idea. I know one trainer that has a B drill in this gym, and the B drill's all 12. That's just perfect. As I was saying, uh, there's a B drill in the gym that probably has like 400 experience points on that. Pokemon, so I'll, I'll, I'll split the experience points with my Croc mode. Yeah, we're gonna use the antidote. This is the guy. Bug Pokemon evolve young, so they get stronger that much faster. <laughs> That's really not a good way to put it, because it's, it's just because you evolve a Pokemon so early, it doesn't mean that the Pokemon's going to be very strong. It just, it doesn't work that way. It just doesn't. Alright, uh, Kakuna, okay. I know there's a bee drill in there. In this party, he has a bee drill. I'm gonna split that experience points with him. Let's bell sprout. Almost all 20. B drill, okay. Yes, switch. Now switch. Bell Sprout, I'm very sure it's gonna go level 16 now. That was really bad. Fury attack is not a great move. Seriously. Fury attack does not do that much damage. See how much. It's pretty good. Level 16. This evolving isn't enough. Exactly. Exactly. You saved all the slow poke. Phew. You're mighty. But my Pokemon grown. My grown up Pokemon are pretty tough too. Hmm. 
Nah, let's not really Alright, let's start skip spamming scratch. Alright, time to go up against the gym leader. It is time. Make sure you save just in case if you lose. I mean, most likely. Me, personally, I know I'm not going to lose, but I do it just in case to be on the safe side. I'm Bugsy. I never lose when it comes to bug Pokemon. My research is going to make me the authority on bug Pokemon. Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. Alright, so he's going to have... A Kakuna, level 14, a Metapod, level 14, and a Scyther, level 16. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put this Pokemon to sleep. Then I'm going to uh, raise my special attack, max out my special attack stat. And... Wow, okay, never expected that. But it doesn't really matter. The reason why I'm saying this is because um, I'm using a special attacking move. He's, he's, I don't, he's raising his Metapod uh, defense, which is only physical based attacks. So since I'm using special based attacks, it really will not, it really won't do a lot much damage to me. So after I raise its special attack to its max, I'm going to just keep spamming uh Vine Whip. Alright, Vine Whip. Wow! Okay, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Kakuna. Okay, uh... No, I'm not gonna switch out. Sleep powder. All right, um, growth. Oh, okay, so it's special attack is maxed out. I'm not, I'm very sure I'm not going to do that much damage to Kakuna, but hopefully I can take out the Pokemon. Okay. I was expecting to do less damage, but... Okay. I know Bellsprout's not going to survive up against a Scyther. Excuse me, a Scyther. So I'm basically going to switch out now because I want to split the experience points with my croc now. We boost level 20, so this is going to be a little bit easier for me. Lear. You got all you want, I got a super potion, I'm not afraid to use it.
he mentions after the battle that Fury Cutter gets stronger, so makes a good point there, but... Ooh, crap. Okay. Better survive this. I did lose. Sucks for me, but at least I saved. Um, I will have to put my bell sprout this time instead as a punching bag because I forgot to restore my Croc-Naw's health. Did I use a potion? Actually, I did, so no. Let's see if I can put this Pokemon to sleep. That's what I'm talking about. Now switch. This is gonna work now. This is going to work. So I thought it was more speed than me, but I have the upper advantage in attack, so... Just keep spamming Scratch, and I'll get some place. It's completely sad that my Croc now lost to a Scyther. It really is. There we go, Scyther's down. Level 17. Poison powder. Uh no. Whoa, amazing. You're an expert on bug poke um Pokemon. My research isn't complete yet. Okay, you win. Take this badge. We receive the Hive Badge, and their TM will be TM49 Fury Cutter. And Pokemon will be up to level 30 through trades. Okay. We're going to go up against our rival in our next episode. So next time on Let's Play Pokemon Crystal, we are going to go up against our rival. Go through the Elix Forest and head up head up north from there. So stay tuned. Goodbye.